Hey guys, KP Jacks, we're at Olena National Park. We are checking out some of the sites, the swimming, the barbecuing, the rafting, the hiking, all that fun, good stuff. The Olino State Park was founded in around the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. It's on US 441 in northern Florida. The Santa Fe River runs through it, and it's about 75 miles long, but its watershed is actually about 1,380 square miles. Uh, the cool thing about the Santa Fe, which we didn't get to find out this trip, was it actually flows into a sinkhole, goes underground for about three miles, and then reappears at another national park or state park, uh, the uh, River Rise Preserve. Um, the water is a nice 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius, pretty much year round. And uh, the river, Santa Fe, actually empties into the Suwannee River. I had to look it up. The Civilian Conservation Corps was actually a part of uh, Roosevelt's, uh, Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal. And it ran from 1933 to 1942. This program... Uh, basically gave you a job so if you had no skill this program was a manual labor program yeah that's a downside but here's the deal you got a job you know if you couldn't get a job and pay for your family and put food in their mouths you could go out with a shovel and get a job build a road fix a road do something and you were able to put food in the mouth of your kids rather than you know just going out and getting welfare uh, some people need welfare, but you know it's it's not meant to be a career. But it was a pretty awesome program. Um, I, I think that they should bring it back. So the park is actually on an old road called Bellany Road, which I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up. It is the first federally funded um, road that runs from St. Augustine, Florida to Tallahassee, Florida. Um, you know, pretty neat. There, there's a few places on the uh, campground area to go. Um, there are playgrounds, picnics, swimming area, cabins, primitive camping sites, wildlife viewing. Uh, speaking of wildlife, on a drive-in, we almost ran over a gopher turtle because he was sitting right in the middle of the road and looked like a rock. And uh, when I got pretty close to him as far as driving, uh, he decided to run in front of my, my truck. So, you know, we were able to get out of the way. Uh, there are several exhibits on site. Uh, as far as like a nature center where you can go see some of the animal exhibits. There's a museum dedicated to the Civilian Conservation Corps. Um, then there's some information about Bellany Road. Uh, the park is huge. Uh, we didn't partake in a lot of the stuff because like the hiking, you know, we had toddlers with us. So obviously we couldn't hike with them. Uh, it was about 100 degrees. So we're not going to take them out there. Plenty of biking to do. We don't own a bike. However, if you do like hiking, biking, walking, that kind of stuff, jogging, there's plenty of those areas. The trails in the park actually add up to about 35 miles of trails. Um, on site, the playground was, you know, fairly nice for our kids. There are cabins, like one, two, three, four bedroom cabins you can sleep in. Um, there are picnic areas that can hold like 75 people. So it is definitely a group place. The water is nice and cool. Uh, but you're not allowed to jump off the bridge. So here is some drone footage. Uh, I unfortunately don't have a nice fancy drone yet, like the Phantom 3 or 4. Um, so I couldn't really go very far without risking uh, losing my drone. So I went about 100 feet away from where I was, flew up the river, flew back towards me, back down the river and under the bridge. Um... Didn't really get that great a camera shot, but it definitely a, a fun place. This river is notorious for flooding. This sign was actually up on a hill where it floods. This thing, this river can crest like 20 feet over. Uh, actually, a lot of the houses that we passed nearby uh, were actually built on stilts as well. This is the museum dedicated to the Civilian Conservation Corps, the group that was responsible for, uh, you know, building so much between the uh, 30s and 40s. Uh, it talks about Franklin Delano Roosevelt, talks about the days of old Leno State Park, talks about the history of uh, the city of Leno, which actually used to be called Keno. Um, 
which was a city built during uh, the gambling period. And then they, they had to rename it because when they wanted to become an official city and get a post office, the government said no because your name, uh, Kino, actually relates too much to an illegal gambling game at the time. So they changed it to Leno, and they were able to get a post office and become an actual city. You can see what's up there. No, this tree was 800 years old when they cut it down. Wow. At the park, you'll find different statues, uh, different signs, dis different uh, memorabilia, if you will. Um, this one happens to be dedicated to the wow. Civilian Conservation Corps. There's a lot of information there about them, and I'm going to have to look it up because, you know, obviously it was, you know, 40 years before I was born. Um, but kind of an interesting program. So we had to cut our trip short, though, because this massive storm front rolled in, and it began to pour rain like crazy. Watch me as I catch the fire. And it's time to leave because uh, it's about to storm. As always, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And get out of your house. Go visit a state park. Go visit something around you. And, uh, you know, have some fun with friends and family. Side by side if the devil starts to roll But I am a magic man